hello friends in this video we are going to study the fixed beam in abacus so fixed beam in both end clamped so now we will start so the problem is a fixed beam of span length l that may be 1000 mm carrying a uniformly distributed load in that magnitude may be minus 1 so find the deformed shape deflection and the reactions at the supports in abacus and also verify it with the matlab code results so this is the beam problem that both end is fixed and the distributed load is acting so we know that in this problem there is no concentrated forces or moments anywhere in between neither the cross section is changing so no need to provide the extra nodes in between if there would be any cases that any loads would be acting anywhere in some places like this that any concentrated loads would be acting or any concentrated moments then we must have to choose the nodes here at this point at this point and where there is the support so we have to choose this and this anyhow so then we have to choose one two three four nodes when this two cases means concentrated forces and this concentrated moments would be acting but since here we are not choosing any cases so we will just remove it so now due to distributed loads because it's distributing uniformly so no changes so we will just choose two points one node at this support and the second node should be at this support so minimum two nodes are required this and this so in matlab or in abacus we will choose these two points there to make the fixed beam and the length of the span we may choose it as thousand okay and the number of elements we may we may divide minimum one elements or we may choose 40 30 elements any for our convenience to get the better results so some important points are there that we should know because we are solving Euler Bernoulli beam theory so no shear deformation we know that in Euler Bernoulli beam theory there is no shear deformation because only bending part would be there but in Timoshenko beam there would be the shear deformation so in this case here is no shear deformation and the shape functions are cubic in nature and are known, also known as Hermite polynomials and that shape functions are like this something and 1 equals to 1 minus 3x square by L square minus x cube by L cube in this so it's the cubic in nature higher order is highest order is 3 so that's why it's called cubic polynomial cubic polynomial or hermite polynomial this name hermite polynomial so this we are just giving this points uh, we are mentioning important points because when we will use the abacus software then we will just use these things so there that we have to choose these points that's why just we are going up briefly so we have just discussed that wherever there would be the loads concentrated loads of change the cross section we have to introduce the nodes there okay so now we will just <coughs> start with the abacus so let's start with abacus we will just go to the file we will just go to the new we will just so new file we will just save the name so we will save it with the clamped 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 beam this is the name we have chosen for this both end is clamped and we will say ok so there we can see the name it's already saved with this name now we will start we will make the first create part 2d planner deformable and wire ok continue 
then we will create isolated point so we are just choosing this point we'll just click here so the first coordinate would be 0 comma 0 enter and because minimum two nodes required so the second coordinate would be 1000 comma 0 this is the second point now we will connect these two points so let's connect it this point must be connected with this point and then to remove we will just keep escape so it's removed now we will say it is done so this we will get now the second step we will go to the property so we will just click here hence we are not giving any self weight to this beam because when we are solving we don't give any self weight at this moment so we are not providing we will just go to create so we will just go to the mechanical part elasticity then elastic so it's asking about the Young's modulus so right now we are providing one and poison's ratio because for euler bernoulli beam we know that it's zero so we are providing zero poison's ratio just click ok now going to this create section beam ok continue we will just click here create beam profile so we will choose a rectangular so it's already <coughs> chosen continue a equals to 12 in width of the beam and here b would be equals to 1 so here b is the thickness of this beam and a is the width of this beam so we have to remember now we will get ok we will just give ok now we have already created the section it's created now we will assign the section so let's create the select the region so we have to assign the section in this so we'll just take done so section okay so it's already assigned now what it's showing let's see assign the beam orientation we'll click here so select the regions to assign so this is the region where we have to assign we'll just click it's done we will just click enter okay okay so it's already done now we will go to next which is assembly we will create here click okay so assembly part is done then step part we will click here we will click so force we have to choose how the force would act so we are just static forces applied so static general continue just okay now we will go to this create field output so what we want as an output so we just continue so in output results what we want we want the one which is stress if you want the strengths we can click here for the strength suppose total strength components if we want then if displacements so translational and rotational displacements we can also find the reactive forces so reaction forces and moments so rt reaction forces and this so we will say okay these things we want as an output we can get from here now we will go to the next step which is interaction is not required because we are having only one part so no other part is there so no re interaction we'll just go to the loads so here create load case so we know that only distributed forces are acting so if distributed forces are acting that is here mentioned as a pressure so pressure is uniformly distributed load here okay so here udl we can just give the name to this file name udl which is pressure we will just say continue and we will select the surface where we have to apply the loads so it is a surface we will just click here now it's asking that choose a side for the edges so we are not knowing that the load is acting in the downward direction so this magenta color we will choose so we have chosen that what is the magnitude so we will give one okay so we have given one and it's showing that a one magnitude is the distributed load of magnitude one now the next create boundary condition so we'll create the boundary conditions now so we have created boundary condition left end left clamp means left and clamped so display the notation will continue so select the regions for the boundary condition so which at this point this end we have to select 
create done so now it's asking so we know that the clamped end has no horizontal displacements that's why it is zero and no vertical displacement so it is also zero and no rotation is allowed in the clamp so all three is zero so we'll just click ok now again create the boundary condition boundary condition means right clamped now for right end clamped so we are just splitting displacement region for the right click so what select the regions so we will just select this point and done so it's also asking about this so no horizontal displacements no vertical displacements neither any rotation is allowed for fixed end clamped end so it's okay so both end is clamped now we will go to the next part which is mesh so if you will just click mesh so it will show this error so we will do nothing but we will go we will click the part then we will click again to the mesh and then we will click mesh part so it's 100 elements so basically we can give it 40 suppose for the 40 elements apply so it's distributed this part is distributed in 40 elements okay we will then see here mesh part we will just click here okay to the mesh part yes then we will come to this assign element type so we will just create click here select the region so we will just select this region B then done it will ask something we will doing a standard beam part then linear geometric order because it's placement we are seeing linear and it's showing beam type shear flexible or cubic so we are just going for the Euler but only it's cubic formulation no shear part is there so we have just discussed the herbite polynomial or cubic formulation for the shape functions for the Euler Bernoulli that was cubic so we are just doing that then ok so this the select the regions to be assigned element types so it's done now let's go to the next which is job so we will create the job job clamp let's say clamp name job continue ok now we will go to data check we will click here so it's ready it's checking the data right now so check completed now we will submit click on submit it's showing here ok so it's again submitted it will run for some time soon it will show the results so it's completed now we will go to results so here we can see the results so we can see here that is written plot contour on deformed shape so we will click here and it is the one misses stress it's showing at how the deformation is happening and what is the stress value at different ends but we are first interested in the displacements to know the displacement so let's see ut we can click here so it's a translational displacements it's showing so plus 2.59 into 10 to the power 9 at red color your orange you can see so at this point it's a maximum value okay and blue we can see the minimum displacement or the, at the end displacement is zero so we can see the blue part it's zero okay and in between its variation is in this manner so we can see so maximum here minimum here at blue so blue maximum red and in between its variation is there and due to the load is symmetric so symmetric deformation is occurring here <coughs> and we can also see from here reactive forces so it is a reactive forces showing 5 into 10 to the power 2 because load of magnitude 1 was there so 1 into length was 1000 so 1 into 1000 1000 divided by 2 so both side PL by 2 PL by 2 so that would be 5 into 10 power 2 so we can see here so it's almost that value it's showing okay now 
we can also verify this part with the help of MATLAB so it's showing this here the deformation and slope is zero at this end we can see from here at this point both the ends now we will go to MATLAB create the MATLAB okay so let's see MATLAB So we will just run this program so let's see enter the length of the beam the length of the beam 1000 we are choosing enter the width so width we are choosing 12 and the depth depth here would be 1 but in abacus we are just giving a their width was denoted with a so that's why we are giving their 12 and the depth was denoted by B but here depth was is denoted with D so we are giving one here so no need to confuse now enter the value of the modulus of elasticity E so we have put random value one there in the abacus so we are putting one now enter the number of elements so we have chosen there 40 elements we will choose here 40 click so let's see So this was the, this is the result. Or we can get a better idea with this also. One thing we can do, we can run this analysis. At length 1000 as it was asking, enter the width of the beam. 12 d1 e1 and number of elements let's take you can say 80 suppose 80 so here it's showing the results So at this end, both end we can see that here at this end it is fixed so no displacement neither any slope at this point and at this end also there is zero slope at this point and zero displacements and its magnitude is almost minus of 2.5 and the maximum displacement here is almost near to y value is 26 something okay so 10 to the power 9 order of minus 2.5 so we will just go to abacus and compare there here we will just bring that value abacus matlab figure So here we can just see both order 10 to the power 9 so 2.596 10 to the power 9 so here we will see <coughs> 2.6 we can say so 2.59 almost 2.6 okay with the order 10 to the power 9 it's showing here so we will have the same values so we have just verified our MATLAB code with the Vegas software and we are getting the same results here and the reaction reactive forces we, we will also verify that's what's the reactive forces here it's showing 
so rt rf let's see 5 both end 5.0 5.0 both straight red at the end so maximum shear would be there so this is the force here it will experience so let's see in the matlab what the reactive forces we will see the results reactions button 0 0.4.0494 and at the another end also 0 0.0494 means both end we are getting this is the reactive forces means already we are just 494 is 0 0.5 into 10 power so this is 10 to the power 4 into 0 0.04 means already 494 494 almost we are getting means near equivalent to 500 so we, as we will increase the number of elements the result will also get improved and also the moments would be acting because it's a fixed end so this is the moments acting here at this end 8.3320 and 8.3320 so these moments we can also verify from there In abacus will go Sorry. So eight point three zero into ten power four. So here we have also seen abacus uh, in this eight point three three into ten power four eight minus eight point three three ten power four. So here we have both verified the results with abacus okay so this video is completed here so next we will see for the shear part so till then have a good day thank you